Hey, D. Grant Smith here, the Relationship Growth Farmer. What does it mean to stand in your power? How about a personal story? Recently, I received a message on LinkedIn from someone who told me that they stumbled upon my profile and liked what I do and wanted to connect. Hey, I get that a lot. I've got a really cool profile. Go check it out. See for yourself. You know, if you're on LinkedIn or any social media network for that matter, you probably receive a ton of similar messages too. What has your experience been with folks like this? They reach out and say they saw you, like what you do, they wanna have a conversation. Have they really wanted to connect with you or did they want you to do something for them? Did they see you as somebody to try and convert with their mystical sales marketing tactics so they can get you on a sales call and pitch their program to you? By the way, if you have done that or have thought about doing that to try to gain business, don't. It doesn't work and it destroys trust as well as any potential connection that could have been made with this person. Actually, this was the subject of the first book that I published back in 2016, at the time geared towards musicians and how to contact media for exposure. The same method works for anyone wanting to build connections with people to grow your business. And by method, I mean what I teach inside that book. The book is called the DIY Musicians Radio Handbook. But anyways, back to the story. I ended up talking to this guy on LinkedIn who had messaged me and said that he wanted to send me some referrals. Hey, referrals sound like a cool thing, right? However, the morning of our call, I had kind of this spidey sense go off that maybe there was something else going on about his reason for wanting to reach out to me. And so just to make sure that everything was kosher, I messaged him ahead of time to make sure that we were really gonna talk about referrals and there wasn't some sort of other agenda item on his docket, meaning I didn't wanna get pitched his program because that's not what I signed up for. In the message back to me, he repeated, yeah, we're gonna talk referrals. He's not gonna pitch me anything. And I thought, sweet, cool deal. So. We get on the call and I wanted to reiterate, hey man, this is why I messaged you. I get a lot of these messages. I want to make sure that, you know, we're really talking about referrals because that's a simple thing. And um, let's get started. He said, yeah, I'm not pitching you anything. Awesome. Well, he proceeds to ask me some questions about my business. And then five minutes later, no joke, he proceeds to give me the overview of this program and pitch his business. You might be thinking, but wait, didn't he say that he wasn't going to do this both in the message and right before the call? Yeah, he specifically said he wasn't going to pitch me anything twice before we started. So there's a big lie happening right there in front of me. And if Sally were still the state of thinking and consciousness that I operated from, I would have let him drone on and on about his program without stopping it. I wouldn't have drawn a boundary. I wouldn't have addressed the lie, the multiple lies that he said. And I would have wasted an hour or so on this call. But guess what? I'm not Sally anymore. When I realized that he was pitching a service, I interrupted him, hard stop, kindly pointed out that this isn't what we agreed upon and that I'm not the prospect that he's looking for. I promptly thanked him for his time and I clicked the red button and ended the call. That's what it means to stand in your power. Respect your boundaries, own your voice, and not be a people pleaser. On a side note, that form of marketing happens all the time, and it's a fast way to burn bridges. That form of marketing meaning you message somebody, tell them that you want to connect with them, but really you just want to pitch them your services without actually caring at all about who they are, what they do, or what they're all about. If you want to use messaging in your marketing outreach on any social media service, particularly on LinkedIn, don't do that. Do this. Be a farmer. Be a growth farmer, a relationship growth farmer. Growth farmers take our time. We are genuine with the seeds that we plant, and we water them with communication that is authentic, sincere, and intended to provide mutual benefit. It's the kind of communication that's gotten me conversations with some of my biggest heroes. And those conversations have turned into friendships with people like Seth Godin, 
William Fitzsimmons, Juan Williams, and others. So it's worth noting that the people-pleasing patterns that we've discussed in this whole video series also can negatively impact your marketing because you're approaching everything from a place of unworthiness, which also contributes to not truly valuing the people that you're trying to connect with. The way to overcome this massive issue is to evolve, heal, and grow. And I can help you. I just put together a full training on how to stand in your power and overcome people-pleasing patterns. It's called the Be the Hero of Your Story and Stand in Your Power Training. And it's available at dgrantsmith.com. I'll put the link to it below, as well as link to other specific resources so that you can jump in right now. If you want more, like direct help for yourself and your business, reach out to me. I'm here to help. I believe in you, and I'm looking forward to talking with you soon.